Uh, so that's where I'm at. These are all down. And I have about 40 mil, 35, 40 mil gap there. That timber's gonna go about there. There's gonna be another one above it to join this mitre here. And I've got to think about the step. I'd like, I think, a full board. Because that comes in line close anyway to that. So I've got to decide, do I put another timber underneath it on this front edge? I don't know, that's what I'm working out. And do I rip a piece to go in that gap because it's a bit ugly, even if we blacked it out. And then I can move in. I don't think I want to cut this board because that, off that, will just leave a thin rip there. So, thinking time now. Right, a quick update. That's where that last timber, that last batten goes. And you see if it's sat on that piece of off cut. It's about the right height. So I'll go there. But there's that ugly gap under there. I was going to rip one down, rip a board down. But to keep the integrity of it, see that's just a piece off like that. To keep the integrity, I'd have to keep that little piece in, otherwise these are two, you know, two loose pieces. But that don't fit. It's too wide. So I'd have to cut it back here. So what we're thinking is Put a piece of turbo one in like that, paint it black, brings that wall forward a bit. You see the clips, but the gap is similar to all these gaps, so I think that's the way that's going to go. Big plane at the back here, got a similar gap. That's a little frustrating. When I got to about here somewhere, I measured it to see how much, you know, maybe I could stretch the joints a little bit, stretch the gaps. But I decided, you know, the massive gaps anyway. So I just went for it and see, you know, see how it worked out. I think I'm gonna have to cut one down for that. But same again, if I get that little piece. It's going to be a crappy little piece. So, if I put a crappy little piece in, I'm going to have to put noggins between these to help support it. And this step, I've got one piece left. If I put a board on there, it's going to be this way, like on the edge over there. I put a board on there, see it projects just enough. There's another one of these going around here, so when it's like that, I'll have to notch it around a little bit. But I think that as a step would look all right, but the front edge needs supporting. And I don't want to just, you know, where is it? Yeah. I don't want to just stick another 2 by 2 underneath like that. I think it'll look like I've just stuck another 2 by 2 underneath. I might be able to rip these, rip this tongue off, the groove off, so that I've got a smooth edge on that. We've got these, um, oh, we've got these edging strips. They're quite thin. And I sort of don't want to put them on there. Because you see that last button, 
I think that last button should run through like that. Yeah. I could just put a solid board. That's what we were looking at that. You know, stop this piece here. Put a solid board in like that. I'll rip it down to this level. Then the deck then the deck board would sit on top like that. We'll see. It's on the drawing, there's a step here. But we chose not to have that. We altered the levels a little bit. So that it's just one step up. But I think... I think it might be just a solid board like that. With that on top of course. So that 2x2 two two will get cut. And a piece of whatever, whatever thickness, whatever depth will go in. Right, so we decided to put that piece, that piece I've just ripped, all the way along the bottom there to cover that gap. It's knocking over a bit. <laughs> I need to add a piece to this end. But rather than put a little crappy piece on, I'll cut it back a bit. A little bit like I did up there. Rather than put, put four inch on, put a decent length on. It's going to be a bench here, so I might cut it to that point. It's a natural sort of line. Right, I'm going to cut the groove off this, see if I can leave a clean edge. Right, I just practiced on an on and off cut. And that's, that's very clean, I'm happy with that. I don't want to leave this little edge though. So, cut this one. So I've got my practice piece. So I just want to cut that full line off. Gives me a line to work to as well. Though.
Oh, that'll do. Might just run a bit of sandpaper on that sharp edge there. got these little clips to hold it back at the back but nothing at the front there's like little angle clips holding you know like end boards on I put them down there but here this is gonna get mitered around there little shitty skinny piece but I'll be able to put a screw in that end screw in that end And I think it's going to have to have a couple of screws in the middle. Those back ones might pull through in time, but deal with that later. Quite firm, I'm going to avoid putting a couple of screws in the front. See what it's like.
Right, so I've just cut a couple of pieces. I've got to paint them black to go on there. I'm just going to pin them on. I'd have preferred a bit more of a nose in, but then you'd have seen the, you know, the hollows on the inside. I don't know how long these little pieces are going to last. They might just get kicked off after a little while. I'll bang some pins in and we'll see. Oh, well, that's it. I've gone with the drawing for this edging strip. Just one screw in the middle. I don't hold out for that. I've left it down a fraction there, so hopefully foot traffic won't kick it off. I've just washed it down. It needs jet washing. There's a lot of clay kicking around still. Put a couple of screws in those bits. Let's see how long they last, though. The deck boards get red hot like the plastic in your car when it's been in the sun. And you saw at the back edge here, I managed to just slide a 2 one in. You can hardly notice now. Yeah, that's it. Next, I'm building two benches. Like on the picture you sent me. We can't get Wayne Edge boards, not at the price we want to pay anyway, or he wants to pay, should I say. They're going to be sat on sleepers on the edge, and then just planked on top. So we'll see about that.